Hey up, it's George from Audio Face here, bringing you another Premiere Pro tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how we can change the look of Premiere Pro. Um, you might have seen in previous tutorials that my setup looks a little bit different to yours. So this is just going to explain how we can move things around, open and close windows that we need or that we don't need. Um, so let's get right to it. So we're going to start with a new project. And here we go. Now already you'll probably notice that this looks a little bit different to your Premiere Pro setup. And that's cool. That's fine. By the end of this video you'll be able to um, basically create your own layout. However you want Premiere Pro to look, what windows you want open, I'm going to show you how you do that. So the first thing I want to talk about is a thing called workspaces. And you can access this by coming up to window on the top, going on to workspaces, and you'll get a list. Basically what these are, these are different preset layouts that have been made by Adobe. What this is telling us is at the moment we're looking at the assembly layout. This particular one has been changed by myself to look different. So if I go into another one, you'll see the, the default layout that Adobe has chosen. For example, the colouring one, so the colour workspace, this has a complete different layout. So we've got the colour one, um, and what you notice is on the previous assembly workspace, I've actually turned this bar off at the top just to give me a little bit more room. But on these other ones, and probably the ones that you've got open up now, the workspace that you've got open now, um, you might have this bar at the top. So you can easily just flick between the different workspaces and the different layouts. So that's quite a nice feature. Okay, so I've just imported, um, this is a video of me videoing, actually. Um, just to show you what it's going to look like when you've actually got something imported in, because obviously you can see that we've got the program, monitor, and um, we've now also got different channels on the track mixer, etc. Okay, so we know workspaces are different layouts for Premiere Pro. So the different windows that you're seeing on the screen that are open, so we've got this one on the left, the one on the bottom, these are all called panels in Premiere Pro. And what we can do is we can move these panels around. So let me show you what I mean. We have our program monitor here, and the program monitor is showing what sequence we are watching. So that's why you're seeing that MVI. Just to point that out so you don't get confused, yours will obviously be different. Whatever the name of your file is, that should be showing there. So here's the program monitor. If we wanted to move the position of this panel, or as I like to call them, windows, we don't actually drag the window itself. What we want to do is come up to the name of that panel, and you'll see we've got names all over the screen here. So we've got um, the right hand side, here's the name of that panel. We've got a bunch of panels here. Um, we have the one on the timeline here and the one on the left. So they're all over the screen here. So let's take a look at what happens when we start to pick up these different panels and we move them across the workspace. So I'm going to pick up the program monitor. And as I move it across, you'll notice that it latches onto these different um, sections that are highlighted in blue. So so I'm not going to let go just yet, I'm just going to talk you through these different positions. So where I've got it now, you see that what's highlighted is this sort of menu bar at the top. It's showing different panels that we can open. So if I drop it within here, and I'll do that now, it's kind of like merged with this panel, which you can see in blue. And it's become an available tab at the top, like this. Okay, so obviously this is not something you'd want to do because you you pretty much always want to see your, your program monitor. So let's pick that back up and let's move it maybe to a position where it's always going to be visible. So that would be maybe to the right hand side of this panel, like that. Okay, and I think that's where we had it before, I'm not, I'm not sure, but let, just for example, let's move it to the very right hand side. Okay, so you can see how this works. Let's just put it back into a position where we can see it like that. So you kind of just have to get used to where it's going to drop, okay? But once you know where, where to move it, if you accidentally drop it um, here, for example, that's actually a quite a good spot for it. But if you didn't want to do that, you now know how to move it back to where you want. And even if it's just a little bit of trial and error where you drop it, that's absolutely fine because you get used to these different positions. Like here, this looks like pretty scary because it looks like we've lost a lot of the panels, but they're still there when we click on them. It's just obviously this big panel here where we've moved the program monitor, sort of like blocking this one. Okay, so all we need to do is just move it back. 
like that okay so obviously i've i've messed around quite a lot with this here and um, that is something that you might end up doing so here's a really really useful thing that you're going to want to know if let's say you've messed this up so much that you can't really work with it anymore like this is pretty bad we can hardly see the timeline everything's just a little bit bad on here so we can right click the workspace that is open and that will be highlighted in blue and we'll click reset to save layout and there as if by magic it's gone to its default layout so again that's that's a lifesaver really okay cool so we know how to move them about what if we wanted to add something that's not on the screen already this is where we want to go into our window menu let's say for example i wanted to bring up some graphics here so i'm going to go down to essential graphics and you notice that it's not got a tick on it okay the ticks are showing all the panels or these little windows here showing all the ones that are open so we can see um, for example essential sound is there the program monitor you see um program monitor that's ticked we've got the audio clip mixer so to bring something new into the equation we just need to press on something that isn't ticked so let's bring up this graphics one we'll click that and you see that it's opened up so just by default it's opened up onto the right hand side here but like i showed you before if you wanted that in a different place like the left hand side you can move that all the way over and just drop it in okay so if you want to remove something from the screen it's not as easy as going onto your window menu and then clicking it again okay that only really works for when you want to add something to your screen that isn't already there now when it is there what we need to do is go over to the panel as though we're going to move it but instead of actually clicking and dragging it we want to right click on it and then you're going to have another menu here so what we can do is we can close the panel and that's just going to remove it okay again if you do this by accident we already know how to fix that we come up to window we find the thing we closed and then we click on it so just before i show you this last thing if you like what you see and you're finding this really helpful please let us know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified for future tutorials that will be coming out the last thing i just want to mention is that if you were for example working with a second monitor so you've got another monitor plugged into your computer the most common use for that really would be to have some sort of program monitor on that screen so there's two ways you can do that the first one and you can do this with absolutely anything any of these panes you can do this this technique if we drag it out so far you'll notice that it becomes its own window okay so when we let go this is actually opened up separately to the premiere pro window that we've got at the back there so this is great if you've got a second monitor and you wanted to drag that over then you could do that um, and like I say, you can do this with, with anything. If you wanted um, an audio mixer on a certain screen, then you, obviously you could just pop that out and drag it along. And if you decide you don't really want that, we just use the technique we used before. So we click on the panel name, and then we're given those blue areas where we can just pop it back in. So super easy. Let's just recap on everything that we spoke about here. So the layout that we're looking at when we open Premiere Pro is called a workspace, and we can access the different default layouts by coming up to window at the top, going onto workspaces and just clicking through them. You'll also notice that you'll have some shortcuts next to there so it makes it a lot easier to switch between them. Once we've opened up a workspace, we're then presented with different panels which are these sections that you'll see, if you click on them you'll see the highlighted in blue. So they're the different panels that you're looking at, all the different windows. And these panels are all movable. So we click on the name of the panel, drag it along, and then just let go where we want to drop it. We can also pop these panels out, and I find the best place to drag it is right to the top, and you see it creates its own window, and we can also drag them straight back in to the workspace. To reset a workspace, we right click on it, and click reset to save layout. Cool. The very final thing I'll say actually is obviously if you wanted to, you might already know this, but if you wanted to move the edges of the panels to make them bigger or smaller, we just move our mouse until we find that it changes to sort of like two little arrows and a line and we just click and drag and that's going to resize each window for us. Horizontally, vertically, 
doesn't really matter. Okay, so if you enjoyed that, let us know. If you think I missed anything or you have any questions, as always, just whack them into the comment section and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Other than that, just make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified, and as always, we'll see you in the next video.